I don't want a treaty. I, I, I don't want to even talk treaty. There's a lot of people who want a treaty. They're going to they're gonna come to the table first with the truth. Truth comes before justice. Tell the truth. And they won't tell the truth. I can't have a treaty with murderers, but I can't have a treaty with liars neither. Because if they cannot tell the truth about their basic history, they can't, they will not come to the table with the treaty. There was a time a couple of decades ago where governments may have been able to sit down and talk with Aboriginal people, but they've swung so far right now. They're so fascist, they're so racist, they're trying to stop us protesting. How can you have a treaty with people who don't want you even on the streets? You can't make a treaty. There was a time we've missed it. We've missed it because these governments, people don't realise the late Malcolm Fraser, who was a very conservative Prime Minister, was more left-wing than the Labor Party. He opened the gates for refugees from Vietnam to come in. And here we have the Labor Party putting people up on Nauru and Manus Island. He was more enlightened than our supposedly left wing of the Labor Party. He, he introduced AB study, not just as a mechanism for uh, giving money to Aboriginal students, but he stated it's a way to track Aboriginal students through the system. So if Aboriginal students are on a separate payment, we know they exist. They're not just absorbed into greater society and forgotten about. Mm. So if they get to year seven or eight and they're dropping out, we can put programs in to keep them in. Mm. That was the thing behind Ab Study by a conservative government. Mm -hmm. We have a government now in, in Canberra who's gone so... Fraser resigned from the Liberal Party because of their right-wing fascism. He resigned before he died. One of the patriarchs of the Liberal Party. But we've got Albanese now, who's supposed to be the last left winger now, carrying on like some little fascist himself. And when you get somebody like Fraser, who's more left wing than your alleged left wing party in this country, you've got a real problem. Why, why on earth would you want to sit down with that bunch of lunatics? Yeah, yeah. Bunch of lies. It goes back to that cesspool of lies they live in. They, they, they believe those lies. They believe they're doing something good. They believe they're actually doing something right because they won't listen. They select people from the Aboriginal community that will tell them what they want to hear and they think they're right and they puff their chest out about it. But they won't come and talk to community members. So why on earth would we, at this point of our time, engage in a treaty? It's a wrong time. The time comes when they tell the truth. They have to tell the truth and they've got to stop living in this denial because all the statistics are there for everybody to read. The highest deaths in custody rate per head of population in the world, the highest incarcerated people in the, the world per head of population, the highest teen suicide rate in the world. Uh, since the, um, since the uh, apology for the stolen generations, 400% increase. We're stealing children at a larger rate than any other time in history. We have, we, our, the closing the gap, what they won't tell you, to get the age rate up to our life expectancy, the present rate will take 480 years. So closing the gap is a joke. It's just another catchphrase for them. Recognition, what a joke. I don't want recognition. I don't want recognition while my people are dying in custody. Treaty, what a joke. I don't want a treaty with murderers. They've got to come clean first. Let them come clean before I'll talk to them. And I know many Aboriginal people feel the same way about that. There was a time, there was a time where it might have been a chance for a treaty, but that was over two decades ago. Mm. 